Well, they could end up with uh, the 16 seats, uh, well, 16 seats, which, which is the same number they went into this election holding. It won't be the same 16 seats. That's a best-case scenario uh, for Labor, although there are still a few seats that are too close to call. I think that Labor can be guaranteed 14 seats, though, uh, at this stage. It's been interesting. A lot of these seats that have been determined to be in doubt have fluctuated pretty widely uh, over the past two days. I think the CLP and Labor have been in front in uh, several of those crucial seats at different times. As it stands at the moment, though, Tom, I've got Labor uh, on 14 seats, the CLP six, two independents and three that look still firmly in doubt. One of those is the seat of Araluan that's a contest between the Country Liberal Party and Territory Alliance, so Labor won't pick that one up. They do, however, uh, have their noses in front in two of those other very marginal seats. One is the seat of Blaine that had been held by uh, Terry Mills, the leader of the Territory Alliance Party. At the moment, Labor is uh, leading the CLP by 21 votes in that seat. The other seat is the seat of Namajira uh, in Central Australia, and Labor's got its nose in front of that seat as well, 20 votes in front. So those uh, margins are obviously... Uh, still too close uh, for Labor to put them in the win box. But if they stay in front in those two seats, they'll finish with 16. They would, uh, most people would say that is a result that would exceed their expectations. Leif Nokiaro, the CLP leader, she did call Michael Gunner yesterday afternoon and conceded defeat. Uh, Michael Gunner has now claimed victory. He did put out a short statement last night. In that statement, uh, he says that uh, he, uh, he says, I do not see our victory as a reward but as a renewal of our responsibilities to Territorians. I ask Territorians to stick with me and my team so we can stay the course and see this through. Now, obviously, Michael Gunner had campaigned almost solely, Tom, on the coronavirus crisis and his handling of that pandemic. He's uh, pointing uh, to that record again during that statement that he put out last night. It will be a tough four years ahead, though, uh, for Michael Gunner and his team. In fact, the first hurdle that the Chief Minister will have to, have to face uh, is who he's going to put in his Cabinet. There are two Cabinet Ministers, Jerry McCarthy, who retired, and Dale Wakefield, who's lost her seat in Alice Springs, who won't be around. But there's at least three pretty ambitious backbenchers in Kate Warden, Chancey Pake and Joel Bowden, who'll be looking for a spot in that Cabinet.